When I was a boy, I had to choose a path, or fate would choose for me. I've hurt people, and I'm going to hurt more. I'm asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. Savages. Gang wars. This city crumbles. Nothing about this brings me joy. You brought this on yourself. Kill you. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. Marvel's been releasing a bunch of Daredevil, Netflix Defenders footage and trailers the past couple of weeks, revealing that it's canonized all the Netflix stuff to the MCU. Really happy to see them finally acknowledge that. And now because they're bringing back all these Defenders characters, we have Daredevil Born Again happening. There have been a couple of teasers for that so far, especially with the ending of the Echo series and that post credit scene. A lot of you have been asking if they're going to bring Bullseye back too, because there was a big teaser at the end of Daredevil Season 3, and now all that stuff is canon. The original showrunner for Daredevil Season 3 also revealed some of their plans for Daredevil Season 4, so we'll break it all down, because technically all that stuff is now canon to the MCU, confirmed. And I know there's a bunch of questions about when all the Defenders characters are actually coming back. Like, when and how are they coming back? And is it going to be during Daredevil Born Again? Are they going to wait till a little bit later? Are there going to be other spinoff series? Like, will they do more series based on the Defenders characters again in the MCU? If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Of course, I will do videos for whatever series, whatever episodes they wind up releasing, whoever winds up coming back. But the important stuff first, like basic idea, is that Daredevil Born Again is essentially Marvel reworking what would have been Daredevil Season 4 in the Netflix series, but in the MCU proper this time. Now they have completely changed the story that they would have originally done in Daredevil Season 4, but essentially it's like a new version of Season 4. They're just calling it Daredevil Born Again, which is funny because they actually use the Daredevil Born Again comic book, like the Frank Miller comic book, for the events of Daredevil Season 3. The circle of Easter eggs is now complete. We see what you're doing there, Kevin Feige. There are a couple legal reasons and production reasons why Disney and Marvel changed the title of Daredevil Born Again from Daredevil Season 4 instead of just calling it Season 4. But thankfully, the showrunner did reveal what was going to happen during Daredevil Season 4. So originally, they ended on that bullseye end credit scene where he's getting his brand new spine. The patient knew the risks. We continue. A lot of you have been asking now, is he coming back like everyone else in Daredevil Born Again? The original story for Daredevil Season 4 would have featured Bullseye coming back, a version of the Owl coming back from previous seasons, and paying off Melvin Potter's Gladiator storyline and Typhoid Mary crossing over from Iron Fist Season 2. So there would have been a little bit of Defenders crossover during Season 4, as you would expect. Wilson Bethel's Bullseye would have become a more comic book accurate version of Bullseye getting his titanium spine, but because we're talking about MCU here, they're introducing adamantium during Captain America 4 Brave New World. It's going to be part of that Tiamat Celestial that's in the Indian Ocean right now. They're explaining the MCU, that's where adamantium comes from, like literally it just grew on his body. That's meant to set up what's happening with MCU Wolverine down the line, like after Hugh Jackman's Wolverine comes back in Deadpool 3, and you have Weapons Plus, Weapon X, all that kind of stuff, just sort of laying the track work for that. But because they're doing that, now they can actually make Bullseye's spine adamantium like it is in the comics. There are a lot of questions about that when Daredevil Season 3 came out, because this was in 2018, back before Avengers Infinity War and the snap happened. Like, is it going to be adamantium? Are they going to introduce adamantium on all these Marvel Netflix series? But he would have come back for revenge against Daredevil and Kingpin, because Kingpin technically is the one that broke his spine. If you remember Leland Owsley, the accountant from Daredevil Season 1 that was killed by Kingpin after he learned Owsley tried to have Vanessa killed, thinking she was distracting Kingpin from their undertaking, that whole mission to dig up the dragon bones that they paid off in the Defender series eventually. 
Owsley's son would have come back using his assets to get revenge against Kingpin and Daredevil and become a more comic book version of the owl. But here's the thing. In the comics, the owl actually has biological powers, like bird-based powers, basically. They're a bunch of experiments. He takes a bunch of serums, just enhancing his abilities. He uses the vulture and other villains as his henchmen. This is the showrunners of Daredevil Season 2 and Daredevil Season 3 talking to each other about Daredevil Season 4 characters. And, and that was, in fact, we were setting up the, uh, the owl from, uh, from the comics was going to be Leland Owsley's son, who was out for revenge of, for what happened to his father. Uh, we never- I, was building on, I was building on that in season four. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. But I think because everything they were doing with the Daredevil Netflix series, and just in general, the Defender series, everything was meant to be so street level, real world inspired, they probably wouldn't have given him his full biological powers other than maybe enhanced regeneration, senses, speed, strength, like very low level powers that would have put him on par with some of the other Defenders characters. The showrunner said that they intended to finish Melvin Potter's storyline that they'd teased through the first couple of seasons. He would have finished becoming the gladiator character from the comics. Now, in the comics, he went insane and becomes a much bigger villain. But on the show, they kind of addressed this by saying that he had a disability and Kingpin had just been taking advantage of him, threatening to kill his girlfriend, Betty. Daredevil eventually helps him and he makes Daredevil's suits. But it sounds like he would have been threatened again by the villains in season four, and that would have caused him to turn into full gladiator from the comics. Maybe gone off the rails until Daredevil eventually helped him again. Maybe he would have wound up in an asylum like he did in the comics, unless you think he would have gotten a happy ending. Depends on how happy you think all these shows wind up ending. For those asking what happened to Kingpin in all of this, because remember, this is still coming off the ending of Daredevil season three, and they kind of address what happened to him during the five-year time jump on the Echo series. It sounds like for the duration of Daredevil Season 4, that would have happened during the five-year time jump, and at least when Season 4 is happening, like at the early part of the five-year time jump, Kingpin still would have been in jail for the events of Season 4. Something similar to what you saw from him during Daredevil Season 2, where he was still trying to hold his empire together from inside prison, but he was largely stuck in prison. They basically explained at the end of season three that Kingpin was going to leave all of them alone. Like Daredevil was not worried about Kingpin coming to bother them as long as Vanessa stayed free and they didn't go after her. So I think the idea is that if season four is taking place like right at the beginning of the five year time jump, Kingpin isn't like a really huge character during the season. Like he just cameos a couple times just to explain what he's been doing while he's in prison. The whole thing with his character on Echo, though, they explained at some point during the five-year time jump, he eventually got out of prison. A lot of people wondering how this happened because it doesn't seem like he stayed in there for a long time. I think the best theory right now is that all the really important people that Daredevil was using to testify against him in court, like all the people the city were using to prosecute him, essentially got snapped. So their cases fell apart, like Daredevil's case against Kingpin fell apart. Therefore, they probably had to release him, and that's how Kingpin is walking around during the five-year time jump, because you see him here just walking through the police, and they're terrified of him. Let him do pretty much whatever he wants to do. One of the other major villains, though, sounds like it was going to be Typhoid Mary, according to the showrunner. Uh, season four was going to be Typhoid Mary. Fantastic uh, choice. Alice, Alice Eve. Uh, we're doing a... Um, oh, you, you uh, were planning... Kind of a, You were planning on Alice Eve to play uh, Typhoid Mary? Yes. You know, I, I had a different version. I had a much different version of her than what Raven had done with in Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. But like I, I was kind of rebooting what she was going to be like. And we were going to do a, um, you know, kind of a, a warped love story, murder mystery, kind of femme fatale. We'd broken it. We'd broken more or less the entire season when we got canceled. And remember, at the end of Iron Fist, she had started working for Joy Meacham, sort of as her hired muscle, although they implied that she was pushing Joy around and she was kind of the leader in their relationship. There was this whole arc with Joy Meacham where they kind of teased her going dark, but she's not like full-blown villain yet. Like she's not full kingpin yet. Charlie Cox also said that Daredevil would have repaired his relationship with Karen Page and he considers her to be the best girl for Daredevil in the MCU. Like everybody's always wondering like who is his main girl? Technically the way Charlie Cox sees it, it's meant to be Karen Page. A lot of people asking about Elektra. It's always possible she comes back too. I don't think she's meant to come back during Daredevil Born Again season one though. But he would have also repaired his relationship with Foggy Nelson. They basically pay off the teaser from the end of season three with them forming the new law firm. Murdoch, Nelson, and Paige, but by this time, Foggy and Karen become more involved with his activities as Daredevil by night, basically being more in on his activities as a superhero. 
Like he wasn't going to continue sneaking around behind their backs fighting crime. And because we have all the other Netflix Defender series, remember, this is when they were originally planning on continuing all those series. You would have seen more crossover from the other characters like Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. Obviously, I already mentioned all the Iron Fist crossover with Daredevil Season 4. Punisher would have also come back because they're all operating in the New York City area for the most part. They didn't really say what their plans were for Defender Season 2 because they canceled the plans for that pretty early on. Like after Defender Season 1 aired, I don't think it landed the way that Netflix wanted it to, so they didn't want to pay for another season of the Defenders team up. The funny thing about Marvel canonizing all the Marvel Netflix stuff to the MCU is that Vincent D'Onofrio revealed that actually was a relatively recent thing that they all had a big meeting about when they actually decided to reboot Daredevil Born Again. Like there was an original version, Kevin Feige saw what they were shooting, they canceled that and hired the Punisher showrunner, the Loki writers to redo Daredevil Born Again and they're getting ready to start doing that right now. But last year during the strike, when they elected to do that, that's when they had their big meeting and decided to canonize everything to the MCU. Like it wasn't until just last year when this all happened. But part of the plan is that Daredevil Born Again is just the beginning of that on this street level New York City area. I've already done a couple videos about Punisher and everybody else that's supposed to come back during Daredevil Born Again season one. But let me know which other characters you want to see come back next. I just did a big video for the Daredevil Born Again teaser in the Echo post credit scene. Click here to watch that and click here to learn about Iron Fist also coming back and which version of Iron Fist it's going to be. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.